morning good morning folks this is the view from my hostel here in uh, Los Jose's uh, San Pedro area of San Jose Costa Rica and this huge property here very huge mansion looking property good morning folks uh, what are we going to do today well very interesting uh, Today, uh, there's supposed to be a holiday or something here in Costa Rica, I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm going to take the bus or I'm going to walk down and uh, check out the, um, you know, what is there to, to video, you know, I, I need to bring you a video today and I'm going to do just that um, here in my hostel, here in Las Hoses. Uh, in the San Pedro area of Costa Rica and uh, I want to take you along and uh, see what we can find out here today what interesting thing we can find out here today here in San Jose Costa Rica Los Jose's so here in Los Jose's uh, as I showed you previously from my room that uh, this is a very nice area, uh, place uh, to live, the houses, uh, the places that are in this area called Los Hoses is pretty much upscale. If you look at the houses, the properties around here, I mean, it's incredible. And then they have this, this is Avenida Ocho, I think, it leads right on. To Jose Center. Look like that's a restaurant down there. It says Fridays. But look at the homes. I mean, it's incredible. Even as I switch from one side of the road to the other, you can see uh, on both sides of the roads, uh, there's a lot of huge uh, buildings, you know, and uh, mansion-looking buildings. Incredible. Yeah, I'd probably be walking towards that huge building over there. Oh, great. I just decided to do a walkthrough, you know. Instead of just walk to the um, main area and take a bus, I decided to just show you what's the neighborhood that I'm staying in, the forces. I turn around, let me show you the houses I just passed, where I just came from. Oh, just look at it, folks. Look at this area, I mean, you know, pure, luxurious looking houses, huge. You need to be middle class to be living in this area, for sure. Uh, uh, high class, middle class, whatever you want to call it. Ah, this is just a neighborhood, Los Jose's here in uh, Costa Rica, folks. Uh, even the roads here are incredible well. They have bike track, you know, and all. So, the neighborhood is pretty chic. Area where they have the courts, and the justice system and everything. In this area right here. Yes, more like close to the center of San Jose. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful building here. Very nice and clean, you kept this man. You know. As you can see, folks, this is, uh, like I said, uh, 
open area here. So if you if you break any laws in Costa Rica, we'll bring you to a wonderful place to process you. <laughs> Walking around the justice area, man. So, who says there's nothing to do here in Costa Rica, in San Jose, man? Who says there's nothing to do? You can walk around, you can see this beautiful property, beautiful buildings. There's a bank there. So, I'm just walking around. And uh, I've did a video in this area before, so it's like uh, nothing new for me. I wanted a close up, so I came <laughs> closer to the building so that I can give you a real close up angle on it. See, I was over there, I was shooting from over there and recording from over there. There's a couple of gentlemen over there as well. They're doing some recordings. You see, this says here, Just Justicia Honor V. Levitat, something like that. But it is what it is, folks. It is what it is, as you can see. Now from the other side. Yeah, could you tell me is this a real tree or artificial one? <laughs> In a way it looks artificial but <laughs> I'd have to even get closer to the make that determination. And look at this house man. Oh it's covered with uh No man. So I so walk along the bank here and besides the big building here, just this building. This building says Poder Judicial, which is looks like a justice. This is a A lot of uh, reflection of how the whole justice system is set up here with the different buildings. You see? Uh, yeah. So now I had to find my way on this side. Wherever I see greenery, garden looking, I'm there, man. Right? I'm there. I'm not drawn to it like a magnet. <laughs> Yeah, folks, in the center of it all, this is what it is. Uh, this building right here says Tribunal, Tribunales de Justicia. Tribunal, man. Justice Tribunal. Yeah. If you do anything wrong, folks, yeah, it's just going to bring you. Don't break the laws in Costa Rica, folks. You're gonna end up right here. <laughs> in this tribunal justice <laughs> plaza right here. And I'll be probably here sitting, taking, watching you, watching them take you to court. <laughs> so I can hear the echoing of a uh, loudspeaker which is there's a gathering down there because it's labor day so there's a gathering on over there and uh this is where i'm thinking whether i should head that way but let me just walk through here show you what i'm seeing here and then i'll just double back Al pueblo de Costa Rica, que salga el pueblo a reclamar sus derechos, que salga el pueblo a protestar contra los enemigos de la patria. 
patria contra los enemigos que están allá en casa presencial, los empresarios, la UCAEP, todos aquellos que pasen por encima de los trabajadores y de las trabajadoras. Yeah. Labor Day here in Costa Rica, folks. This is what they do. The protest is on. Avenida, Avenida Segunda. He's standing right in front of the Casa de Ande. Block them, they cannot go any further in here, man. <laughs> uh, I know before you could have gone all the way up, but now they block it. They're not letting them pass here, man. This is it. Y seguiremos denunciando y resistiendo contra la injerencia indebida y la falsificación de datos actuariales. Hay importantes obras de infraestructura y hospitales claves que el gobierno frena por motivos poco claros y espurios. Es esencial fortalecer el IBM y la formación y trato digno a las personas especialistas médicas. Pero sobre todo, es urgente que el gobierno pague la deuda millonaria a la caja, que este gobierno ha aumentado irresponsablemente. Esta salarial es un imperativo de lucha permanente y vamos a luchar por una solución a muy corto plazo. También debemos seguir luchando contra la insistencia de ciertos partidos y del gobierno Yes, folks. This is uh, this would be like the center of the um, you know the center of the protest, where well, close to the presidential palace, and here's where they will express their concerns and their grievances. This will continue uh, during the, uh, the day. Uh, this area will be crowded with people in a, in a, in a little bit because <laughs> everybody is going to descend here or ascend here. San Jose. I'm here present to give you live, live, live coverage. <laughs> like a reporter, man. I'm always present when these things are happening around the world, right? I'm always here. <laughs> it's Labor Day, folks, here in Costa Rica, San Jose. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Happy people. there's a below this platform there's a museum as well um, right in the center there's a national uh, theater over there and the old uh, Costa Rican hotel fighting the sun here you know it's so uh,
la nueva era de la velocidad. Y en Claro siempre hemos estado preparados. Claro, por algo somos el internet más cercano de Costa Rica. Con confianza decimos que estamos listos out. para que cumplan sin límites. Para que puedas ser nuevo así. I walk around the uh, huge hotel here. I'm gonna give you a nice view of the uh, National Theater. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. I was fortunate to get a chance to visit it one time back in the day, and uh, very beautiful inside. You're here in Costa Rica, it's a must see. a mossy building here we go inside I think you can pay uh, like $15 I don't know if it's more or less now but uh, and here you go Grand Hotel Costa Rica 1930 man this is like old 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 building See this is beauty in the center, San Jose, Costa Rica, folks. Sorry, folks, for the audio interruption. I had to cut the audio because of some music that was coming from around the uh, clock area where the pigeons are. Uh, I was getting a feedback, so I had to cut the audio. I don't want to be copyrighted, so. For YouTube videos, you have to be very careful with this. So, continue to watch the rest of the video. There's much more to come. And this will be my uh, final uh, video on uh, my Costa Rica visit. So, I hope you enjoy the whole video. Watch the whole video. Yeah, I was saying one of the main banks uh, is the National Bank here in Costa Rica. And yeah, they don't charge any service charge. So if you're here in Costa Rica and you want to use your um, ATM, and you want to use the ATM with your card, uh, use the, um, the one from the National Bank because you, it, they won't charge you that extra charge so you'll get more for your buck. There's a post office down there. Central Park that way. I think I may take a walk towards the post office. Pigeons are eating. <laughs> They're eating, man. Yeah, folks, we are Puro Centro, man. Puro Centro, man. Between the post office and the. <laughs> um, Central Park. This is a national bank here, man, of Costa Rica. Banco Nacional, man. They're actually painting this big building here as well. See the guys up there painting. The same color as the National Bank, so I guess it's part of the bank as well. It's part of Central, Central Bank here in Costa Rica. Step away a little bit so I can give you a, a good picture of video of the post office here. No way. It's, uh, it's a lot of light so sometimes too much light <laughs> is not good you know. And then a camera. I'm using my cell phone but uh, you know without a filter from the sun 
you would get reflections that you're not uh, you don't need <laughs> so I sort of like Oh, there's something going on at the post office today, right? There's a fair in there. I don't know. But it is what it is, folks. This is the scene right here. Costa uh, Rica. Yeah, it's a lively, lively day here. People are just sitting around and uh, some people are just sitting and watching people people watching as well you see right there who's sitting and then there's this beautiful building here as well oh yeah so well, those people who will be traveling to Costa Rica in the future, uh, there's something you need to know. That being that I'm right in front of the National Bank of Costa Rica, uh, let me explain you something. If you're visiting here and uh, you need to get money from the ATM, uh, the best to use is the National Bank because it doesn't charge you the um, service charge to take your money out. So you can use your, the ATM from the National Bank and uh, take out your colonis, you know, which is the money here in Costa Rica, the colonis. So you can access the ATM and take out the, the colonis, the amount of colonis that you would like to have. And... Uh, show you that you'll get a good rate as well. That's quite in the wind here. This is the National Bank here. I'm right in front of it. But this is where I take money out when I need Costa Rican money. I come to this bank or wherever there's an ATM that sells the National Bank. I usually use that see I'm heading actually towards the um, the other bank which is Bank of Costa Rica and uh, also another bank here that is Costa Rican. Oh, this is the flower area man, you can buy flowers here in this area right here. Between the banks. Here's the Mercado Central here, folks. And uh, let me. So I am on uh, Avenida Central, and uh, actually. Uh, Mercado Central is where right. Now I'm entering the Mercado Central. Folks, <laughs> uh, if you notice I keep cutting the music, I mean the video is because of the music, you know. I have to be cutting the video all the time because I don't want to get copyrighted. So that's one of the things I try to do. Just, See, there's a lot of food stalls in here and basically they're selling the meats and stuff. 
it's usually a very busy place, you know. Usually busy, busy, man. Every day. Caro Central, folks. <laughs> meat stores, you can buy fresh meat and stuff. I don't want to go down here and get my fish. Market. And uh, I came out on the other side actually. So, actually. Back on Avenida Central, heading towards the Paseo Canoas, not Paseo Canoas, Paseo Colon area. <laughs> Get mixing up with the border, man. And, uh, just walking through. A lot of these stores have music, I gotta be cutting, cutting all the time, man. I tell you. Cutting all the time, I gotta be cutting because of the music. <laughs> no choice. Yeah. So, if you look way ahead, that's um, Paseo Colon. So, I'm gonna go off here in the shade a little bit. <laughs> Going in the shaded area, man. We had some bright, bright sun today. Shining like crazy. That's it, Paseo Colón, folks. That's the, uh, where I came from up there. This is a huge hospital, right? Ah, uh, yeah, too much of sun, though. And that's the Parque La Merced over there, the Church La Merced. Yeah, Parque La Merced, man. See, very busy area. We're just sitting around. Costa Rican, we call this the uh, Nicaraguan Park. <laughs> Where you'll find a lot of the Nicaraguans hanging out on a daily basis. Uh, let, me look, let me look back and take uh, another shot of this. Central park. It's a holiday, it's Labor Day, and it's very quiet around the Central Park today. 